You're listening to the one of us.net podcast network. Man, there, there's a title that that uh, has evocation of many different images, I believe. Although no actual atomic explosions in this, but lots of blonde, lots, lots of, blonde. of blonde, and yes. but that blonde in question is Charlie's Theron, who personally I'll just go show up to watch almost anything that she's in at this point. Ditto, she's just yeah. amazing. Well, she's sexy, yeah. and she's <laughs> strong, and yep, she's, she's so glamorous. She yeah. is. She is just so she glamorous. Is arresting. It's shocking like it's it's not even sexy or beautiful no. it's just gla- which she is right but that's not the first word she's glamorous like if rita, rita hayworth word. wanted to do action movies yeah. <laughs> and she probably would have to if well, she was around today. now you know yeah, in this would. age and charlie theron has kind of become the number one female action star in yeah. america today yeah. you know we we especially since mad max we're all just like oh, oh yeah. yeah yeah we'll watch her do whatever she goes for it yeah, yeah. she like does it all so not it's very great. not very surprising she chose to team up here with director david uh leach who came off of this is his second film after directing the first john wick yeah. his directing partner in john wick went on to make john wick 2 without yeah. him he decided, well, I'm going to go do this instead. And sure enough, I mean, like, this is definitely, at least by the halfway point on, a movie you go, I wonder if the guy who did John Wick did that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. uh, the story, such as it is, it's 1989. And you can tell that even without them telling you, because it looks like every music video that was coming out in the late 80s. And you hear all the songs. And all, all the of songs. Them. All of them. Every one of them. Uh, it's the eve of the collapse of the Berlin Wall. Everything is shifting politically. Uh, Charlie Theron plays Lorraine Broughton, who's a top-level MI6 spy agent who's sent there to take down an espionage r- r- ring that's killed one of their undercover agents. And ultimately, she's, she's, she's assigned to work with this guy named David Percival, played by James McAvoy. Right off the bat, you're like, mm, there's something shaky about this guy. Yeah. I just don't like him. <laughs> yeah, is he kind yeah, of slimy? I just don't like just I like to, him when he's playing bad boys. I just felt like, I like him as actor. Charles Xavier. I just he's a goat legged twitcher. I, mean, <laughs> I just don't like him. <laughs> it's like he's got a whole different acting style that we're not at this level yet. I'll I'll let you keep going. No, okay, no he right. is tall. I was thinking about that on the way over here. He's got a whole different acting it's a style. Totally it's different like, style. Wh- why is he in this movie? Maybe he, he's in good in other movies, but in this I'm like you every time it would go to him it was like it, the movie just shifted and not in a good way well that's, well, that's was, what the whole thing is yeah. it's a super schizophrenic the whole, movie there's so Everything many styles schizophrenic the director is like almost like okay everybody like already knows boy. I can do action so now I'm going to show you I can do like really stylish photography films yeah. but he wants to do them all yeah in this film you're like this isn't natural born killers brother you're yeah. like oh, there's look, no reason to try color. out oh, every I've single style oh, I, didn't really, I didn't really get that vibe no? I, I thought it was pretty consistent except for him he yeah. just he so just reminded oh, me of I the it style was like all over the place but uh wow. ultimately this all hinges <laughs> <laughs> Ultimately, this because when you were watching Charlie's there, and you were just like, ah. Uh, well, okay. Here's my big zone. disclaimer. <laughs> I spent five years of the '80s in Germany, so, so I, it was just like that. That is kind of yeah. like I consider. Berlin. Everyone says I, I went like Berlin. to Berlin in in March of '89, and went to East Berlin in March of '89, and then I got out in June, and then the wall fell in November. So. There's that's just that to me is like you were Charlie Theron. Is what you're oh yeah, definitely <laughs> more like John Goodman. <laughs> John Goodman here playing a, a CIA agent that's working with MI6 and actually has one of my favorite turns in this whole film yeah. towards the end. Yep. But, you know, if my main complaint about this movie, and then I'll follow it up with the thing I like the best, is that this is the oldest spy plot in the world. I mean, we've seen it so many times. Like, oh, there's a list of all the spies and they've got to stop that list from getting into the bad guy's hands. You're yeah. like, okay, there's got to be nine movies with that plot. Well, I think there's like three James Bond movies with that plot. Especially <laughs> since the fall of the Berlin Wall. That's yeah. been the thing. Like, yeah. oh, well, it's not about the codes. Now it's got to be about the other spies. Yeah. And personally, I'm like, 
Whatever other spies, you should be trained to take care of yourselves. Hey, get the you're supposed out. to be taking care of me. I'm not yeah. supposed to be worried about you. It's like, oh, you're able to blend into the darkness and hide away. Yeah, <laughs> your, your yeah. cover is blown. <laughs> Go back and work a desk job. Sorry. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, and you're kind of obsolete anyway. You know, I mean, James Bond doesn't care. He's like, whatever. I'm James Bond, bitch. Oh, I'm <laughs> it's like my cover blown. <laughs> I don't even use a code name. <laughs> <laughs> I wear a tuxedo. To lubies. <laughs> uh, there's, the first half of this film is so trying to explain this labyrinthine yeah. yet overly simple at the same time yeah. plot. And I just didn't care. I'm you like, I like watching Theron do her thing. Yep. But you're right. I didn't care for James McAvoy that much in this. He's kind of all over the place. He He's all like, over the place. You ex- he was like his character in that M. Night Shyamalan film uh, where he plays yes. a multiple personality. You know? I, I kept thinking, thinking that too. Like, and yeah. I didn't even see that movie. Yeah. And, but I was going, oh, I could see why they cast him yeah, as the schizo guy. Yeah, totally. I don't understand why anybody would say, oh, yeah, he grows up to be Patrick Stewart. I mean, that, that's a complete <laughs> disconnect between the... Those two people have, you know, I don't, I don't understand. I actually I don't he, understand why he's in movies. I thought I he did the good job like. in the I liked him X-Men. in Wanted. And okay. Wanted. The first yeah. half of that movie was fine. Okay, it wasn't toward the end. Was. It got really bad. Yeah. Yeah, it was terrible. Yeah, Which turned, one the first was half, The first hour. Shoot those motherfuckers. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's, that's a Morgan Freeman line, by yeah. the way. Oh. Shoot those motherfuckers. Yeah. I liked him in that. <laughs> I, I liked it because, you know, he hits Chris, young Chris Pratt. Yeah, well. Before Chris Pratt was Chris Pratt. But, you know, they throw in a lot of interesting character actors in yeah. here. Till Schweiger, 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 yeah. Schweiger as the watchmaker, who's an ally of MI6. Yeah. Uh, Eddie Marsan, who uh, is one of those guys, you can put him in anything, and I'm ha- fat, happy with these. Great. He's another MI6 there's guy. A, there's a great scene with him where he's got a mustache, and they're like, you, know, you have to shave your mustache <laughs> off. Like... Why don't you just gouge his eyes out and can't, I mean, yeah, there's just, nothing to disguise that guy's head. Yeah. You know, he there's just. There's nothing. No. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, there's nothing. You can't make, yeah. Put a big Afro wig on him or something. Something else. Because the, the mustache, you don't even notice the mustache. And you the just fact go, that she was super blonde, like, come on. She's she's sticking out no matter where she Yeah, there's. So but she's she sticking over. Yeah, right. Well, because that's the whole even, thing. They're going with that James Bond thing. Like, yeah, yeah spies. They, so open. They're James so James stylish and like, 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 come on. You can catch. You can see her from eight blocks away. Yeah. You know, yeah, she's taller than everybody. She's not so. trying to blend in, is all I'm saying. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, well, I don't think she could. If I don't she know, tried. But this is a silly yeah. spy movie that eventually becomes the thing I like best about it: a pretty startlingly good action yeah. film. Yeah. Once David Leach goes, okay, I know it. what you're here for. Yeah, here it is. And once that Fun starts good. happening. <laughs> Fine. Here's some awesome action scenes and visceral stunts, and it's going to be bloody and horrible and awesome. Yeah, there's a yeah. a brutal like knife and and fist oh, fight yeah. between uh, with moments of humor. A bad guy yeah. and which were really like, funny. Yeah. 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 so weird, so subtle good. humor. Yeah. That made me think of Evil Dead more yeah. than anything. Yeah. That just okay. it was like the camera was flying through, yes. there. and it was all it was, one single shot. Yeah, they did one single shot, like busting through walls of this apartment, and then as if that wasn't there's like five minutes of that. We like this so is amazing good. and so brutal, and yeah. then it follows them down the stairs outside into cars, and they get an amazing uh, car chase action sequence, and that's still so the good. same shot. And so, yeah, even though this else. was inconsistent and all over the place for me, I would still go see another David Leach movie just because I know the stunts are going to be amazing. Yeah, that yeah. was so, something else. Just wish they had gotten to it a little faster. Yeah, uh, yeah. If they had maybe tightened up that story uh, a lot, but you know that opening shot with the before you get to yeah, her, yeah. that was pretty intense. Yeah, that's a really great starter. And he had some beautiful cinematography. Some of the production design was really lovely. Yeah. I enjoyed visually, you know, what it looked like. The music was great. I mean, there was, there was a lot of fun. I don't yeah, know. I thought it was fun. I I liked that. It nodded towards 80s style, but didn't recreate 80s style. I don't need to see yeah. Charlie's Theron in a big shoulder pads and yeah. and mullet. That's true. Perm, it was you know, all like, a nod. It too. was all it was all Tom Ford for one thing. All the every the glasses were completely contemporary, you know, yeah. and they were all Tom Ford brand. That's <laughs> it was funny. Uh, everything that she wore was so not 80s, but yeah. that's okay because they. Hinted at it with right the chains you know, the, on the shoes, the, and, yeah, the and the and the music hair, was yeah. you know, type thing. yeah, her asymmetrical. Well, so much of the style right now is is derivative of the 
the 80s anyway. Yeah. Right, right. Everybody's right. like remembering this. And I'm like, oh, man, the 80s, that was an awesome time. Like, yeah, you were not even alive. Shut the fuck up. And well, some <laughs> of the scenes, like, he would stack the scene. They would stack the scenes with a lot of information sometimes. Yeah. And a lot of mirror, a lot of mirrors and silvered surfaces and a lot of partial, you know, mimicking of the faces on the background. I thought that was really, I don't know, visually, he's super arty. Yeah, there were a couple of times I'm like, is that a reflection? Is that really happening? Yeah. I don't, I'm kind of lost here There's for a, a second. And then it. suddenly it would come together. Yeah, he's a I, lot of stuff. I was, <laughs> she had her, her hotel room, the ceiling was lined with blue neon. And I'm like, how could you watch TV with that? Because there was, there was like a big V it's of like they neon got a bunch reflected of, like, on the glass. to decorate that room. Yeah, or the whole movie, quite frankly. <laughs> like, and then there's the yeah. weird gratuitous Go lesbian crazy, sequence girl. in the middle oh. of the oh, film yeah. where I you're just, just like, love her. I mean, it was really I sexy. Know. She right? was great. I was just like, oh, I'm it, in. It was super Not sexy, great. but no, at the same really? time, it was kind of like the whole movie just stopped dead. Like, oh yeah, all right, this is for you. You know what you're here for, Sophia Batella, who's who is best known for playing the the, uh, the big assassin in Kingsman. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Which I just... She's got the, the bouncy leg, metal legs with oh, spikes. Yeah, she yeah. was amazing. She was great. Not yeah. so great in The Mummy, but what are you going to do? Oh, oh that's what she it. was. She was in that, too. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen that. She, uh, see she was stunning okay. in this. And just, she just was really great. great. Yeah. I really loved and she her. Was, you know what? There Even though some... her arc ended up being in amazingly predictable in yes. spy movie yeah. terms. But she but... was actually really sexy and cute and... You Vulnerable. Know, yeah, all. Yeah, I think. Yeah, she was. Really, I really enjoyed her performance. It was yeah, funny I could have used how tiny she her. looked next to Charlize Theron. Oh, I, I don't know. think she's a big woman. Oh, I, I thought she how... was pretty tall. Charlize Theron. Is I she? Is, she, well, she sure had some heels. I yeah, know. I think she's probably like five ten. I want to say. Really? I yeah. think she's pretty tall. I'm I mean, not I'm five seven, sure. so I don't know. But yeah, she's she's definitely got that whole like. Like she would have been a god to the Nazis look, you know. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she has a wrestling well, show. <laughs> South Africa. Yeah. yeah. So that's, you know, kind of like the, the next door. That's next. like when they were, well, I guess he speaks Dutch, she can speak Dutch or Afrikaans maybe, but I mean, mm. when he was like, you need to work on your German, I just thought that was funny. Yeah. I, it is. <laughs> When it, I, I will say as well, like and like I said, I really enjoyed the second half of this film. Was kind of bored for the first half, but the second half ended up even with the plot turned in, got a twist in there that yep. I was like, did not see that coming, yeah. yep. and that was pretty cool. Yes, so, nine and a half. Yeah, <laughs> I was, yes. I was yes. like, all right, that was fun. That brought me back into the story here. Yep. Where you were by the end, you were like, I would watch another movie with this character. Yep. Oh yeah, you know? absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Well, these, yeah. or these surviving <laughs> characters, <laughs> right? I that, uh, yeah, there were some really good twists on that. I, I really loved it. I, I just really, no I reservation at all. Even with twitchy goat-legged man. Jojo, the Jojo Pan, the goat-legged boy. This is like my total kind of movie. Like, yeah. arty, really violent, awesome, like, yeah. Total like, Germany in the 80s. Yeah, yeah. good stuff. All of the music was like, uh, yep, that's the stuff that they played all the time. Yeah. Oh, I know all the, the words to all these songs town. somehow. I still know all the words. But it had the, the, the cat people David Bowie song. In well, yeah. you knew it was going to have a Bowie song in there somewhere. Ministry. It's 1989. They had the ministry in there? Yeah. Like, oh yeah, my God. And it was weird. The choices were like, they were all from the right time period, but they were also kind of like all these different styles. Yes. Where you're like, wow. They were not one style. Yeah. It was all, yeah. It was an interesting soundtrack, a nice little jukebox of the time that yes. was a little different than what you might usually hear from from that. You and, know? and thankfully, the squashing of the Nina 99, 99 the balloons. balloon song when you smashed the... Sorry, that, yeah. that's like my national anthem. <laughs> yeah. I think I was more of a ministry guy. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping to hear Trio do da, da, da. That would have right? been so That would have been the one. Felt strangely would... out of place not being yeah. in here. Right? I mean, that was like the number one song. <laughs> I mean, shouldn't there have been Kraftwerk playing out of like a, a like cafe somewhere, you know? <laughs> Just saying. Like, that could, yeah. That uh, I been... mean, like I know Audubon came out long before this, but nonetheless, they still never gave up on that. Right. <laughs> right. You know, they're still really into Kraftwerk. I mean, that, that could have been an ambient kind of a add to it because yeah. that's kind of how craft work is it's I mean just, Einstein's and Neubotten right. <laughs> <laughs> that was when they were big 1989 yeah, not really that big in Germany no not really we liked them better over here we're like I yeah. love that German band the Germans are like who 
What? Yeah, oh. it's kind of it's. Uh, you know who would have been big was uh, Vangelis. Vangelis was huge oh, in Germany yeah. in the eighties. Yeah, yeah. It's, wow. Which I was thinking about yeah. that as well because there's a lot. There's yeah, definitely time. there's definitely Blade Runner visual influence yeah. here. So much so when you're talking about all the styles she wears, I expected her to yeah. come out with that Sean Young that haircut she, yep. and mm-hmm. big shoulder well, pads. Well, they did have you know? that last red jacket. Yeah. Well, she had that one outfit at the beginning that was just like a bustier of pinstripe. Like, what was yeah, that about? I like, don't know. Was that to say, I'm so not 80s that I don't have shoulder pads? I don't even have shoulders? Yeah, I don't know what that was. <laughs> I didn't like that one. That just looked like it would fall off. It's, yeah. you know, like a lot of effort. Did it have secret suspenders or... <laughs> but I like how she changed, like, her... The characters were changing. Her characters were changing with what she wore. She did not travel light, did she? No, she, she had didn't. like she three had different like, overcoats. Like at how least. many? <laughs> how many suitcases? <laughs> like, yeah, there must have been one for suitcases. There was one bag and one little, you know, <laughs> steel suitcase in the trunk of that car. But she's and scrappy. She, <laughs> she's scrappy. She, she, she that should be her nickname, lot, really, don't you think? Scrappy, scrappy. Charlie's. <laughs> I do, I do like that's something they've kind of brought back into the spy world or, or really brought into ever since more or less um, the new Bonds, which is like, we actually want to see these guys fight. And we yeah. want to know that they're getting hurt, too. Yeah. yeah. Like, this is tough. And it's a job they could almost die a lot. Yeah. Like, the old Bonds are always like, really whatever, hard. he's dead. You know, yeah. it's yeah. like, that's not hard to beat those guys, the old yeah. Bond. And now, like, like you know, you see uh, what's Daniel Craig. Yeah, he gets a shit beat out of him. Yeah. Because, yeah, he's fighting the toughest guys in the world. So does she. Yeah. She's, like, not in a good way in many no. times no. in this film. She's and had it, the crap And, like, they showed them, like, being super, like, tired and hardly able to move. Well, yeah. Yeah. That happens. Yeah. I mean, admittedly. This is still hyper exaggerated over oh, yeah. what anyone would survive. In real life, yeah, no. But no matter how tough they were, but yeah. still, I'd we're be toast like in thirty seconds. We like to pretend. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we like to pretend let's it's be real. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so tough. Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, you brought a tough to a gunfight. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, well, let's go to final thoughts, Johnny Neal. When you get us started, uh, I, I'm going to tell you, I I absolutely loved it. Um, I like everything we've said. It, it was so glamorous, and it was so action packed. And you know, I, I'm not going to kid anybody. I'm not real smart, so oh, I don't shocked. really need my spy story to be complicated. <laughs> I don't want my spy story more complicated than the Man from Uncle. Uh, That's as much as I need. <laughs> I just need to know the bad guys are the bad guys, and the good guys are the good guys, and. You know, the the MacGuffin is the MacGuffin, and that's fine. <laughs> I want everybody to be gorgeous, and I want everybody to be well-dressed, and that's pretty much what I got in this. I just thought it was great. I'm going to give it 8.5 neon tubes out of Ooh. 10. Nice. Laura? Okay, I totally loved it, too, even though I know as I'm talking about it's been schizophrenic and it was all over the place, but I loved it visually. The stunts were amazing, which is really why I wanted to see it. And Charlize Theron, as you said, is so glamorous. And, you know, I just sort of block, I'm blocking out James McAvoy, even though I liked him. Um, so I'm going to give it, I'm also giving it an eight and a half, and I'm going to give it eight and a half, double tap, ice picks to the face. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Right? Ooh. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, you guys definitely liked it more than I did. I still did really like it. I think it's a movie I'll enjoy more the second time when my expectations are tempered oh, yeah, to some extent. Oh, yeah, I can't Because I was so in love with John Wick <laughs> that I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. When are we getting to the John Wick style action? I want action yeah. that blows me out of my seat, yeah. and it takes a while. Yeah. But once it finally delivers, which is, like I said, about 45 minutes or so into the film, That's it's it's amazing. It's jaw-dropping and beautiful, and it's clear Leach has a, has a good eye. Uh, visually, there's, uh, you know, the plot is whatever, but that's true of a lot of spy movies. I just, it just felt off balance for me, this movie. And I, I would have definitely enjoyed a better uh, second lead than James McAvoy, who I don't mind as much as Johnny does, but I found him totally miscast here and out of place, or at least his choices that he made were not so good. I didn't realize that I didn't like him until tonight. I knew that I wasn't attracted to him like if i see that he's in a movie yeah. i don't go oh yeah you that know guy. that guy he's it's, super bold with his choices in this movie yeah that is for sure but i'm not sure they fit i don't yeah. i think he thought he was in a kingsman movie where they would have fit you know i think he did a yeah. lot of 
crystal meth, except his <laughs> teeth were really nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe he Hollywood. just started. That's the Hollywood grill. <laughs> he just started with the crystal meth. He just started. Yeah. He's, he's like on the newbie. peak. He's, yeah, he's a plateau. His teeth are still fine, you know. We yeah. haven't gotten to the meth is a hell of a drug part of, of uh, James McAvoy's career yet. So, well, I'll let you know. <laughs> it's coming up. Uh, yeah, I, I thought this is, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I want to watch more movies by this director. I definitely want to watch more Charlie's their own yes. uh, films. But at the same time, I kind of wish uh, Leach would get back together with uh, Stelesky. I think it's Stahelski, uh to make John Wick three and see the two of them together. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, John I Wick two was I thought phenomenal, but it I, yeah. maybe not. Like, it's hard to say if it's better or not than John Wick one. I agree. I would prefer to see them back together again and see what happens. Yeah, you know? I would too. Uh, John Wick. But oh. I give this. <laughs> <laughs> Seven out of ten super neat spy doodads. Nice. Ooh, yeah, because you got to have some spy doodads. You got to yeah, have some spy neon doodads. lights, spy doodads, and ice picks. We're good. <laughs> we are uh, good. That's the whole. That's, that's, that's the, the emoji roll of, of how this movie. Yeah, <laughs> the emoji sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Oneofus.net has been your one-stop shop for all things geek for years. But there's a side to them many of you have never heard. The subscription side. Subscribe and listen to great podcasts like The Breakfast Pub, The Original Gentleman, and the Watch a Movie With Us series. Head on over to oneofus.net and don't forget your towel.